Hey fellow travelers, just a quick stop here southeast of Traverse City, Michigan. Uh, we are about 12 miles from the city and believe it or not, uh, we are in the middle of the woods. That's because we are in northern lower Michigan, northwestern part of the lower peninsula. And one of the great things about Michigan that I love about this state, uh, mostly in the summer, not so much in the winter, but mostly in the summer is our state forest campgrounds. These are not state parks but uh, they are owned by the state and um, you pay a small fee to stay here overnight, but it is a state forest campground. Uh, and so you can kind of get out in the middle of nowhere, but get there very easily. There's usually a picnic table and a fire pit on some small sites. Most of these are pretty small. Uh, you're gonna see about maybe 30 sites at most. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around here in a minute and show you what we are here um, at a very small one. There's actually only eight or nine sites at this campground. Uh, we'll flip this around here and we'll show you. So as I said, this is uh, one of the smaller state forest campgrounds here in uh, northwestern lower peninsula of Michigan. Uh, there's a small dirt road to get in and uh, there's one other uh, group of people here tonight. Uh, so it's pretty quiet here in early June yet. And uh, it's a really nice way to have a peaceful, peaceful night pretty much by yourself. There's Jessie uh, with her campfire. Uh, nice campfire that you can make because you're out in the woods and anything that's on the ground you can pick it up and burn it as opposed to being in a state park which is a problem trying to build a fire yeah so what what's wrong trying to build a fire in a state park so what's wrong with trying to build a fire in a state park is there's absolutely no um, tree stuff anywhere on the ground it's, it's been so well maintained or picked up by other people because it's so well used that you can't find just sticks and twigs laying around on the ground. There's absolutely nothing. You have to completely bring in your own firewood. And due to our laws about not traveling with firewood, it means you have to stop somewhere and hope somebody along the side of the road before the park has firewood for sale. Uh, so it just makes it really difficult where it's much easier here. I spent five minutes and I went and collected. You can kind of see my pile over here of wood that I picked up and we found a big log and in you know, a couple minutes, we had a really nice fire going, as opposed to last weekend where it took us an hour and it basically totally puttered out. So. Yeah, the problem is there's no kindling available. Whereas when you're out in the woods like this, you can just grab some sticks and small dried stuff and get it going. So uh, one of the advantages also to the RV that we have, our road trek, which is a class B, uh, it's pretty small. And so you can fit into one of these small spots in the campground uh, when there isn't a lot to choose from. Uh, and you can also uh, park it right along an area like this uh, where we've got a river right on the other side of the fence here. Sorry, we're losing our light a little bit here tonight, so things are a little dark, but uh, I think you get the idea. It's just a beautiful spot to spend the evening, and we'll hang out here tomorrow before we uh, head a little bit further north for an event that we're taking part in. So that's it. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about, like I said, one of the things that I do like about coming up to northern Michigan and the uh, great camp facilities that we have, or camping facilities that um, are, are maintained but aren't really, um, you know, like a fancy campground. It's just a place to spend a nice quiet evening for relatively cheap. I think the site was thirteen dollars yep. for the night. Um, there are... Um, there's a outhouses here. Yeah, there's, there's an, an outhouse. There's a well pump over here. If you actually need water, we carry all of ours with us, so it's not a problem. But if you were out here to tent, there is uh, fresh water available for you. So lots of uh, great opportunities here. If you're ever in Michigan, make sure you go to the northern lower peninsula and watch for the state forest campgrounds. They are all over the place. Fantastic. So hope to see you out there. All right. We'll see you out there. Happy travels. Bye.